coordination with uh, federal and state law enforcement. <laughs> The body found at Bondi Dams yesterday morning has been identified as Ryan Gibson, a 31-year-old truck driver from Mascot. The homicide is believed to be connected to who some are already calling the deadliest killer in Australian history, who's already claimed the lives of seven victims. The murder spree began when a woman was found dead at a Kingsford bus stop three months ago. Residents of the eastern suburbs have been warned to avoid leaving their homes at night while police consider the possibility of enacting a mandatory curfew. You're welcome to take the seat, you know. I'm okay, thanks. Are you sure about that? Next bus isn't gonna I be think I can look after myself. I'm just trying to make conversation. It's not me you've got to worry about. If I wanted to kill you, I could have done it already. Wow, I feel so much safer. When we get on that bus... I'm not catching the bus. I, I grew up around here. Every day after school, the bus would drop me off at this bus stop. It was only a short walk home, but Mum never liked the idea of me walking home alone. So every day after work, she'd sit here and wait for me. And we'd walk home together. It was just the two of you? Yeah. Are you still close with her? No. staying with this guy and he turned out just like everyone else now I just want to go home do you still live with your family no I never knew my family that must have been difficult it's okay I got lucky My name's Paul, by the way. Breaking news. A man has just been found dead from multiple stab wounds outside his Kingsford apartment. Police are on the scene and are already investigating a possible connection to the recent string of homicides in the area. Earlier in the night, neighbours heard shouting, followed by the sounds of a physical struggle. Other witnesses have reported seeing an injured woman fleeing the scene. Why aren't you close with your mum anymore, Paul? What? You're scared. I'm not. It's just... It's just an old memory. I remember waking up with a fever that day. And then it was nearly midnight. And she started and come back. So then, I thought, maybe she was still here at the bus stop, waiting for me. So I grabbed my jacket and I ran here as quickly as I could. And I found it. She was dead. Someone had stabbed her and just left her here on the ground, bleed out. And I still can't stop dreaming about it. I thought coming here would help. And what did she look like? It was like she was looking right at me. Her eyes were wide open. I never even got to say goodbye. <laughs> you must miss her a lot. But you're lucky, you know. No one's gonna miss you. 